Hello and welcome to Dying Light Multiplayer. Yes, look at that. Oh, all I need now is some deathcore music and everything will be sorted. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to jump in and rip some fucking heads. I'm going to be playing as the zombie. And I'm going to be kicking some fucking ass in the multiplayer. Well, I thought I would be because the first game I played, I absolutely dominated this poor bastard on his own. And when I finally jumped into this one, this wasn't uh, me versus three. It was me versus one and this was a bloody good game. He gave me a really good run for my money. So let's get in and see how this guy gets his head caved in by me. Fuck it, yeah. Now, I've literally just unlocked one ability here, which is to spit. And that encourages more zombies to come and get him. And as you're about to see, I'm about to pounce. But just before I pounce, he gets his UV torch on me, which actually weakens and slows me. And he slices me in two like a bastard. Now I can counter this by holding the right trigger which slams the floor and knocks him back giving me the opportunity to get away but as I'm still quite new with all the buttons I'm still getting used to it. I can actually use one of my tendrils which is my arm to zoom around the map extremely quickly uh, and this is really good. You can also grab and jump and there is a whole skill tree that's involved with each side of this being the zombie. Now this zombie mode, when I click be the zombie from the main menu, this guy is actually doing his own campaign, his own single player, and it puts us together, I think, uh, should he accept it into this multiplayer mode. It's a little bit like Left 4 Dead, but there's a lot more involved and a lot more to it for the main zombie and for the guys. They seem to have a torch and a few of the little pieces of kit, and I'm sure there are extras as well. So I'm trying to hunt this guy. Um, and actually grab him and I threw this here which is supposed to attract more zombies but I haven't actually got this to work properly as yet so I'm trying to be a little bit sneaky here and see if I can sneak up behind him and grab him as you can see he saw me just as I grabbed and luckily for me did I get him? no I didn't get him on this one he's well injured he must have sliced me just as I was trying to get away right time for some zombie fucking payback Let's see if we can't smash this guy's fucking head into the concrete. Right, so I know he's over there. I can press A and it sort of screams. And that gives me a rough idea of where he is. So I know he's over there and how much health he's got and stamina. There he is, little bastard. Right. I'm not sure whether he if he has the ability to see me. Uh, as I haven't actually played on the other side as yet, so I'm just going to wait. As you can see, I can move through the level extremely quickly. Now, I'm sure he's just seen me up there, so I'm going to see if I can gob this fucking spunk over him. Uh, there we go. That should attract more zombies. So let's just see if I can... Uh... There he is. He's obviously seen me. I need to really get some height here. This will This will help me. Let's get up here and see what we can see. It's actually quite exciting and quite visceral. I can imagine it's a lot harder when there's four of them. Right. This is probably not the best way to do it. Has he seen me come in? Oh shit, there he is. Come and grab him, come and grab him. Yes! Fucking smash his bastard head into the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sort of um, zombie voice. <laughs> yeah, that, oh, I tell you, that's really satisfying. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this little bastard again. Come here, you little bastard. Deking dickhead. Basically, his mission is he's got to destroy these little... Oh, come here, come here, come here. Yes, yes. <laughs> get that. And I'm sure there'll be there's different ways to kill as well as you start to unlock the skill tree. And in fact, before we go into the next bit, let's just have a quick look at the skill tree. So this is the uh, tree, and I've actually unlocked this one point and just selected it. And as you can see, it gives you a preview at the bottom of, of all these different things that you can unlock. So there's quite a lot in here for the multiplayer aspect. Um, as you can see, there's a lot, there's lots in here, and there's lots that are locked that I can't actually preview. So there's going to be lots of interesting things in here. As you can see, you can dispel them really quite quick and you know, faster. I mean, you can get around the level pretty quick as it is. 
Anyway, guys, so just to sum it up, even though it's really, 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 really new as this, and I haven't really got into all the controls, I really unlocked them, it's actually really enjoyable. I'm actually finding this more enjoyable than Left 4 Dead, that's for sure. And if you can play this uh, four-player co-op on their side and be the zombie and also on the other side, I think this is going to be a fantastic game. I'm really looking forward to playing the campaign in co-op. And, um, yeah, I might do a few more videos on this, but in the meantime, this has been Day and Light on the PC. Looks good. Plays great. Fucking go and get it, you tight-ass bastards. See you on the battlefield. Or I'll see your head smash all over the fucking concrete. I've been para. Bye-bye.